a duty to be here. I um, struggled to make it down here today because um, of uh, things I have going in recording studio and stuff like that, but I felt I had to try and make it. Some people have uh, been saying it's kind of important um, for a celebrity to come and show their face here. I never really see myself as a celebrity, although I did come in my own helicopter. <laughs> and I did bring my own camera. I just smiled at the police camera over there. Wait to the police camera. Uh, a Palestinian flag I'm wearing on my t-shirt here, for your information. Um, <laughs> it was important for me to try and make it here. It's um, important also, I think, that we take the message further out to people. It's not just about the amount of people that are here. Um, I may do a point because I actually don't think um, I'm a great speaker. I'm not the kind of person that's going to go up here and do a wonderful speech. But a few people have said, um, could I do a poem? So, um, Okay, at the back, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. There's a man beating him by, the woman just laughs our life. They call that domestic strife, what has that got to do with me? Babies are buried on the floors in a church behind closed doors, I don't know the bloody cause. What has that got to do with me? I've seen all the documentaries and there's nothing I can do. I have listened to the commentaries, why should I listen to you? If I'm told to go, I vote. If I need money, I strike. If I'm told not to, then I won't. I want the best deal out of life. The fit cannot go jogging because there's someone out there mugging when they should be spreading loving. What has that got to do with me? Me and you must just stand back because they're gonna bomb Iraq. It's a surgical attack. What has that got to do with me? I just want to live my life, mate, so just leave me alone. Why should I fight the state when I am trying to buy my home? I just want to earn my bread, guy, and feed my family. You may starve and you may die, but what has that got to do with me? Poets are dying in Nigeria, or forced to leave the area, multinationals are superior. What has that got to do with me? And in somewhere, Stan, I've heard that she can't say a word, and he must grow a beard. What has that got to do with me? What has that got to do with me? I'm just this guy from Birmingham, and all I want to do is live good in the hood. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just your average football fan, and hey, some foreign teams are very, very good. Why should you worry yourself? You're gonna change a single thing. All you got to do is take what you can get. Why should you worry yourself? Try hard and you will die trying. And what can any of us do about Tibet? I see a million refugees on 20 million TVs and I think, who the fuck are these? What has that got to do with me? What have I got no time? Don't you mess with what is mine. Yes, I've signed the dotted line. What has that got to do with me? Your house has just been broke down and you think you're married, but what a... Hey. What has that got to do with me? What has that got to do with me? There's a riot in Nigeria, multinationals are superior. What has that got to do with me? And over in Algeria, they say there's another massacre, isn't that the part of Africa? What has that got to do with me? And I don't want to go to an American death row, there's no compassion there, I know. But what has that got to do with me? My gosh, I can see you have been tortured, and your wife has been drawn and quartered, and your animals are being slaughtered. What has that got to do with me?
next uh, speaker is uh, from America is a trauma surgeon, Dr. Jerry Blassack. <laughs> Bush country. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure to speak to you today on this incredibly important day for laboratory animals. A day for us all to come together and renew our commitment to stopping once and for all the scientifically invalid, financially draining, and anti-human practice of vivisection. I'd like to say right, right off the bat that America looks to activists here in the UK for our inspiration. As you work to close down places like Huntington and to stop the building of new labs like the one at Oxford. I live in a apathetic, self-involved and self-centered self country and I'm proud and inspired by your relentless, tenacious, and focus campaigns that you run here. We in the States, we in the States, continue to marvel at the successes that you've had here in ridding the world of places like Hillgrove Farm, Consort Kennels, Shamrock Farms, your inspiration to all of us in America. Someone who was born and raised in America, where the World Trade Center were recently destroyed, I can say without hesitation that every day is 9-11 for the animals in laboratories. And on factory farms, and on fur farms, and in zoos and circuses, everywhere that our brothers and sisters are exploited because humans can and continue to do so.